Hello guys. A uh, slight frustration we've got at the moment. Um, we're going to have to rehouse my Starburst Baboon Maculata. Um, if you come down here and have a look, you'll see we've got tiny, tiny little flies which are producing these tiny little maggots. And they are the bane of my life here at the moment. Now these have come in through shop bought crickets. And you'll see they're all over the place. So if you get any remains of crickets uh, in your tanks, then these little guys are laying their eggs in them and then you're getting a burst of these tiny, tiny maggots. And the little flies are really, really annoying. So we're gonna have to um, get this female out of here, rehouse her in another tank and um, try and sort this little fry problem out. This is why I only feed roaches. I don't generally feed um, shop-bought crickets because of this problem of bringing stuff in from outside. I don't like it. So, um, and as we speak, you see, we've opened the top up and there's a cricket in the top there now. Oh, he's gone. Right, so as usual, we're gonna try and get this girl out of here and as you're aware, maculata aren't always the friendliest of spiders. So we've got our catch box ready. Got my faithful paintbrush. And now we're going to see, find out where she's hiding first. Not oh, there she is, she's not far from the top of the cork, so... We'll just be there. She is. Look at that. Right there. Let's take these bits out. Now, these aren't renowned for being the most patient of spiders. She's made a really nice home here. There you go, you can see her now. Oh, she's uncovered. The fun part's going to be getting her off the log. Look at that. What a stunning spider. Absolutely beautiful specimen. She must be asleep, I reckon. Right. This should be interesting. She's in a really awful position, to be fair. But we'll give it a go. Um, we'll go nice and gently. I don't know if you can really see this. teaser into the box she's slipping out the box remember there's no rush I'm just going to move on very very gently here she goes. Now we've got her in the box. Keep it still. Very gently. There you go. One spider. All caught up. No trouble at all. And as you can see, these little maggots here 
Now you guys might well have seen these, these little tiny flies in your cricket tubs. They are absolutely awful. Right, so we've got, um, this will all need to be cleaned out and sterilised. I shouldn't imagine she enjoyed living in there. Although she did have a lovely home. Right. Now then, we've got a new home all set up, ready to go. We're just waiting for this girl to molt out actually, and then she'll be a future breeding project. Now hopefully we'll see through this that these have got a really bad reputation. And hopefully we can show today that they're not actually all that bad. We just need to be slow and gentle. So here we go. We're going to put her back in now. Hopefully without issue after I've said that. So all we do is we put the base of the box in there so that she can walk up the box. We're already getting her in the direction we want her to go. And she goes nice and gently. No aggression. Just a little bit of persuasion. And she goes. See how she's slowly turning around towards us a little bit. Doing the sideways step. And there we go. Unsuccessful rehousing. We've no dramas. And this is what it's all about. One very pretty spider. There you go. Alright, so word of warning, keep your eyes on your little flies, <laughs> because they're damn awful things. <laughs>